Uh, this is this is my first recording of Hooligan Strain. This is my first recording of Hooligan Strain. This is my first recording of Hooligan Strain. So what I've done so far is I've just looked at the whole piece hand separately. I've not really done any more than that. I've tried it with the metronome and without the metronome. Uh, this recording is going to be without the metronome just um, for now. This is my first recording of... No, wait. This is Hooligan Strain. It is piano accompaniment to an alto saxophone piece. Um, all I've done so far is look at the full thing hand separately just to see what the notes are. I've not tried it with the metronome yet. I've just been, you know, note bashing to see. This is my first recording of Hooligan Strain. It's an alto saxophone piece with the piano accompaniment. Um, I chose this piece because I'm a first study saxophonist, so I thought it would be good to really look at some repertoire for the instrument that I know is my first study. Um, I've only really looked at the piece hands separately so far. I've not tried the hands together yet. I've not tried it with the metronome either. I've just been, you know, taking that first initial look to see where my hands move to, what the notes are. Um, so yeah, I'll do the whole piece hands separately without the metronome right now.
that was my first run through. Um, what I take from that, well, not my first run through, my first recorded run through, and what I take from it is that I can do it relatively well hand separately. I was um, using my foot to keep the beat as kind of an internal metronome rather than using a metronome. And I felt like I was mostly steady in most parts I was quite secure. There are certain parts that do throw me, especially in the right hand more so than the left hand. Um, something I should have mentioned as well is in the middle section of the piece, uh, my right hand has to go from the treble cle clef to covering notes in the bass clef. Um, so I should have mentioned that. Something that does strike me about this piece though that might be a struggle is just the range of the chords and the octaves might just um, cause a little bit of strain and stress for me so I'll need to look at different ways to work around that 